So I know this equation looks kind of messy, but the thing is there's a number right here. After the equal sign, there's a number, and then times a fraction, and the only place the variable is written up here. So I'm just going to make a similar looking problem. Let's just say instead of this large number, just a 2, just because, I, I don't know, the number start here, starts here with a 2. After the equal sign, how about a 3? We have a f times a fraction. So since the top of the fraction has the variable t, and I don't want to confuse what I'm writing here with this, so I'm just going to put an x there. And then we've divided by this number right here, right? So, you know, it's this is technically itself a number, but I'm just going to put a 4 there, right? So, yes, this number is a fraction, which in it has a decimal, but 4 will represent that. And I ask, how would we solve this equation? Now, there are two approaches here that work, and both are fine. You can multiply both sides by 4, or you can divide both sides by 3 to take care of this times 3. And if you divided both sides by 3, you'd have this, right? So why don't you pause the video and do the same for this? What you should end up with is 21000 over 350 is equal to, they call fraction, 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.04 over 12, raised to the negative 12t over 0 0.04 over 12. Now, treat the 4 the same way that you would this. So go back to this equation and then go, what would you do to, to both sides to get x by itself here? Uh, pause the video, try it here, and then do the same thing over here. So if we multiply both sides by 4 here, then these 4s cancel. And what we're left with is uh, 4 times 2 thirds is equal to x. Now, it's fine if you write 4 times 2 thirds, or it's fine if you write 2 thirds times 4. Now, this happens to simplify to 8 thirds, but I really don't want to simplify here because that's not as easy to do over here, right? If we multiply, um, same deal. We're not doing some reciprocal thing or something. Just take, this represents just like the number 4 earlier. Just multiply by this on both sides. Um, then one line down. So the line that looks like this, I'd say, is just the 0 0.04 over 12 times 21,000 over 350 is equal to 1. Now just the numerator, right? Up here, this 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.04 over 12 uh, raised to the negative 12t. Now we have to take care of this. Um, oh, so so let's now abandon this, this problem over here for a sec. And now the left side is just a number, right? So I don't know. I'm just going to pick 5 just because I've already used up a 2, 3, 4. Then on the right side, I see a 1, and then I'll copy the minus sign. <clears throat> And the variable, yes, it's stuck as part of the exponent, but the, the base here is just some number. So I'm just going to, just for now, just to make it super nice, just like that, okay? So how would you solve for x here? You have a couple options, right? So um, one option is to subtract 1 on both sides and have this, okay? And then what you can do is um, there's this still... Don't forget this minus sign. Um, it, it would just be just a regular x after the equals without the minus sign if the line above here had been 1 plus x. Now, to take care of this minus sign, students often say divide both sides by negative 1, which is totally fine, but you could also say times both sides by negative 1. Let me just show how these look a little different. You get to the same place, though. So here's what divide by negative 1 on both sides looks like. So 5 minus 1 all over a negative 1. That's equal to... Um, negative x over a negative 1 will just simplify to x. Um, if you do just times by negative 1 on both sides, then <clears throat> need parentheses there. Um, negative quantity 5 minus 1, need parentheses. That's equal to x. Now, you actually have one other option here that's going to work. So um, you could actually, instead of you know going from here to here, down to either of these, you actually have a separate option, which is to add x to both sides. So you have x on uh, plus 5 is equal to 1, and then subtract 5 on both sides. So you have x is equal to 1 minus 5. 
So all three of these here show um, the a process of of getting x by itself. So I want to assure you that all three of these writings are in fact the same. And so you see here in these calculations on, on Desmos that these are all the same number, namely negative four. Anyway, take your favorite version of this and then apply the same kind of steps to this problem over here. So I'm gonna uh, suggest that you pause the video and try it. And I'm gonna try it all three ways now. So if I try this way, what happened here was to first subtract one on both sides. So we could, I'm just gonna do a little copy paste to try to save time in this video. So if we try to do it like this way, um, the instead of the one there, we'll have a minus one like that. Um, and then uh, we, we would need to divide both sides by negative one next to, so, right? So it's like this, this stage right here is like this, right? These are, sorry, these are, these look similar. So dividing both sides by negative one, let me just copy paste. And so no more negative one on that side. Instead, this entire side has a negative one on it. Um, so I'll get rid of this, okay? And what about the version that looks like this? So instead, to times both sides by negative one. So, um, well, first it, it goes off of this step here. So I'll take this work here and I gotta get rid of this just for the sake of room. But let's try that. Let's take this and multiply both sides by negative one. So, um, oh, you know what? I could do this. So multiplying both sides by negative one gets rid of the minus sign there. Instead, this side has a negative sign there, right? That's the multiplying by negative one. Okay, so I'll get rid of, you know, all that. So let me just comment about either of these two things is that if you want to simplify how this looks a little further, you're welcome to do so, but please be careful about this. Um, in either place, this minus sign here or this minus sign distributes once to this or that, and then once to this or that. So I would like to point out, because there's a common error that I keep seeing for people who are dropping by, it would be accurate to write over here, um, negative 0 0.04 over 12 times 21000 over 350. Um, and then when you distribute that negative one to there, a plus one is equal to one plus 0 0.04 over 12 raised to the negative 12t. In this one right here, in this version, um, when you distribute that, uh, the, the, sorry, let me make the point again, is that there is no minus sign right here. No minus. Um, a minus sign distributes to, uh, at, at a, it splits at a, min, uh, at a, yeah, a negative, whatever you distribute from outside the parentheses, um, like this minus here, distributes to the terms that are separated by pluses or minuses, not at the time signs. So how does it look over here? It's going to be negative 0.04 over 12 times, no minus sign here, and then 21000 over 350. Now when this minus distributes to this minus one, there's a plus one here. Again, there's no minus in this spot right there, no minus. The right side still looks the same. So this is equal to one plus 0.04 over 12 raised to the negative 12t. Okay, so let's, just to make a little bit of space, get rid of these things. So depending on which way you'd like your, your answer to look, you could have your, your work look like this or like this, or, or you could do this kind of thing, right? So go back to, what is this one? This, this, this equation over here and add the thingy that was after the minus sign. So we're gonna add this whole thing right there to both sides and then subtract this uh, whole, sorry, no, no, no. We need to go back one more step, huh? Whoops, sorry, I'm mistaken. Go back to there. And so add this to both sides. Yeah, right, that's the one minus, those are the one minus. Okay, so add this to both sides, subtract this thingy on both sides. All right, so from here, so from this step, if we do that, and I'll write in the work over here, it would be 
1 plus 0 0.04 over 12 raised to the negative 12t. Um, oh, so that's on the left side now because we've added this to both sides. Um, this is gone on the left side because we're about to subtract it on both sides. The 1 is still there. So let me copy this one. I just copied right there. And now this thingy I should copy. Or so we're subtracting on both sides. So 0 0.04 over 12 times 2100 over 350. So take a look at the three equations on this line. There's many ways to get here, and these may look slightly different from each other, but they really are all the same in value. In fact, this one right here, how it's simplified, and this look, they're, they're actually completely identical, whether you divide both sides by negative one or we got this one by multiplying both sides by negative one. We just had to properly simplify the left side. I'll note that if you just swap the two sides, so this right side is here on the left side instead, um, and the, the one is still positive right here. That's still positive. And the product of these two fractions, product at that times, is negative, And that's still true over here. So all three of these really are the same. The first two literally look the same. And the second one is the side swapped. And the order of the terms is different. But the positive term is still positive And the negative term is still negative. So I'm just going to go with, um, just to clean it up, since there are three ways to get to this spot, I'm just going to take this copy right here. Now, the variable is stuck up in the exponent spot. This would be like if we had oh, another equation like 6 to the x is equal to 7. What we do here is imply the circle trick and have log base 6 of 7 equals x. When you employ the same trick here, you have log base 1 plus 0 0.04 over 12 of 1 minus 0 0.04 over 12 times 2100. Oh, I think I'm missing a zero there. That's not the point of this video, though, right? 350. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. And then that's equal to, so like there was the x here, the exponent, now this negative 12t. I'll save the last step for you. All you have to do is divide both sides by negative 12.